Good morning, everyone. My name is Frank, and my YouTube channel is a Food and Arm Wrestling. Today, I'm gonna show you how I do my uh, steak. I bought this from Costco this morning, and it's a USDA choice. It's uh, $8.59 for a pound. Normally, when you buy the one that they cut already, it's gonna be around eleven ninety nine to twelve ninety nine uh, for a pound, and I live in Texas, so I don't know about all the states. So I start to change my uh, diet into carnivore diet, uh, which is only uh, eating meat, no starch, no vegetable at all. So now I'm gonna start to uh, cut open the bag and dry it out, and then we're gonna do a little bit of trimming and then we're gonna portion this. So the part of this is to save us the money. Um, like you can portion it, put it in the freezer and whenever you need, just pull it down and, and wait until it defrosts and have a good steak. So uh, you, it saves you the trip to, uh, to, to butcher or to your local supermarkets. You can have it whenever you want to. You save money too. You save the trip and um, yeah, let's go ahead and start cutting this open. So this weighed about 15.65 pounds, so it's a total price of around $134.43, yeah, which is good, good deal for me. This is my first time uh, trying this too. Not be a buy steak, but it, the one that cut already, this is my first time to to uh, do it this way at home. So cut it really not too deep so you don't cut into the meat too much. And then drain the water. And it's gonna look like this when you cut it open. The fat cap is still really thick. Of course, we're gonna do a little bit of trimming. But first, we need to dry it down with the paper towel. Make sure that uh, it's completely dry and clean. So your station, your workstation always be good and sanitizing. This USDA choice, but uh, the, so the there are two, there are standard of uh, beef and then USDA choice and then brand. So this morning I wanted to buy brand, but then they didn't have it. This is the only thing that they have that uh, in bulk. That uh, I mean New York, uh, New York top lawyer. This is the only one they have in USDA choice. I was looking for ribeyes, but they don't have anything. They don't have, they only have this. So now we just, we're gonna start to, sorry guys, I'm not sure if my shirt is touched the meat. This is my dog, his name is Butter. I had him for almost, almost three years. He's really a sweet guy, he never leaves us. Like when you walk and uh, if, you, if you leave him alone, he's he gonna look for you. Like you hide, you, you, you hide and he's gonna look for you. So right now back to the beef, it dried down already. Now we're gonna start doing the trimming. So first, you want your steak at the end when you cut it. It look good, it look uh, beautiful, so trim a little bit of the edge. So this not gonna go in waste, because we're gonna do uh, some uh, ground beef later. I have the mixer over there, the mixer. So we just bought uh, the parts to... Uh, so I started to do my, uh, my own ground, ground beef. The last few weeks, because I love burger, I love, I enjoy eating burger with French fry, a lot of mayonnaise, ketchup. So 
The idea of uh, this is to save money to have different cut of meat. You can do a lot of you can do uh, fajita, or you can you can do a, a lot of different things. The fat you can keep that and then roast it in the oven. Keep the fat as the uh, the animal fat for cooking. It's it's good flavor, and keep the roast on the pan like to make the sauce. You can be cleanse the pan after uh, you, you pull the fat out of the the tray. It's a good flavor for our sauce. So now we're trimming a little bit of all of that silver silver muscle it's, because if you don't, when we don't do that, it's your steak gonna be really tough and like chewy so it's important to get rid of uh, all this silver uh, muscle I know that some of us like to chew this the, for example like me I like to have a little bit of the chew on my steak so I don't mind if I have a little bit of a bit uh, stick on my steak so here another fat fat part of the, the loin this is my first long video so hopefully uh, if, I may, if I make any mistake please forgive me please subscribe subscribe to my channel like my video I appreciate it you guys then flip it over when um, I'm not gonna trim it right now because the, the pork the, the Fat on different part of the, the loin gonna be thick and thin. It depend on where, uh, depend on the size of the steak, and depend on how you want, uh, how much steak you want on your, how much, how much fat you want, you wanna be on your steak. So for me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna portion it, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim the fat. So right now, most of it already, I got most of the, the silver, the silver muscle, silver ten, tendon. So now we start to portion it. So to cut in, to cut a steak, you want a really smooth cut. Move the knife, I cut about a, an, an inch and a half, maybe two inch, two inches. So this is my first cut right here guys. Just move the knife, let it work. So the cut gonna look, so the, the meat gonna look like this, which is beautiful, right? But for the fat, I think it's perfect. I just need to trim a little bit at the bottom and it's good to go. Right here. Exactly the same thing for oh, no. Let's the knife do the work. We don't have to. A lot of people that when I see them using the knife, they try to press it down. No, you don't you don't have to do it a lot because it's gonna it's gonna waste your energy and the, the meat not gonna look good, you know. Moving the knife, let it work, let it let it cut into the meat. Don't use too much pressure and pressing it down. Again, I'm not a butcher. It might look like a, it might look uh, not really like a, a very professional. Okay, so I got I got four steaks. I got three steaks right now. So each meal I try to now I try to eat only meat only, but um, I guess I have to. Somehow I have to like have some vegetable, a little bit of vegetable or a little bit of fruits. So uh, I have a little bit of fiber because I I did the survey and they say that the first time, the first few days when you're eating meat only, you you might get a a bad reaction of your uh, digestion system because it's not used to it. You need some starch some uh, vegetable to go. Plus, I, I, I eat good, I enjoy eating food, I enjoy different flavor. I work in the kitchen too, so uh, 
I use a lot of butter in my cooking too. Like the last video, when I cooked the, the when I cooked the steak, I used a lot of butter, but because I didn't have any herbs, so I oh, sometimes I just have a really simple steak. I just have salt, pepper, and that's it. I don't really do a bunch of different thing on it. Or we have, sometimes I do oyster sauce with uh, roasted, uh, like saute garlic and seasoning with MSG, salt, sugar, and uh, sesame oil. And we have a uh, simple sauce with uh, adding a little bit more water. We have beautiful sauce to go with it. So adding a lot of pepper too, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna give the, the steak a deep, cut out of the richness of the steak and it's give the steak a deeper flavor, you know? Spice in every food is good. Adding whatever spice. You, some people they, they add rosemary in, in the steak. They want if you want your steak rare, medium rare, well done. It's nothing wrong with it. A lot of people say that well done steak is tough and you shouldn't eat that. No, it's your uh, it's your choice. You can eat, you can cook your steak whatever you want and eat your steak whatever you want. Because I used to uh, I used to think that way. So. I say, oh, whenever, whenever a person order a, a well done steak, we the chef we don't really like it, but it's their choice. You cannot, you know. And now we um. So I got six of the steaks. This seven. Steak look beautiful. It worth it worth this guy. It save money, save time, and plus you have different cuts. You have ground beef. It it put you have to put in a li little bit more work, but it's worth it. You save time. You save uh, your money. The most important thing, money. And plus, uh, you need the protein, especially. You need the protein for your body. So if you work out, I do work out every day. I don't skip. That's what I talk to you. That's what I, I learn from people. I learn from the top, the strong guy. I'm an arm wrestler, so I learn from a lot of people that uh, keep it in consistency. Uh, sometimes I'm really tired. When I get home, I am get home really late. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to sweet, squeeze in a little bit of exercise, you know, to get the body. Uh, keep that uh, keep that fire in my my uh, first it started like a hobby but now it's it's like a, a I, I take I take it serious too I love arm wrestling and uh, my job is a chef I'm working for a compass group so the the hour is better than before before I work way too much in. The restaurant thing is way too too many too much too many hours, but now I work for this company for two years already, and we don't really. Most of the time you work from six or five to two thirty three, only special uh, special place they they do require you to work a little bit longer, but no no weekend no holiday, so now I have time with um, more with my family you know. And now we have uh, a wrap. So for a steak like this, if you go out and eat for in a restaurant, it might cost around twenty to fifty, depending on which location you go to. You know. So right now I got two. two six, Sorry, it's eleven steaks. So it's gonna. I just need one, one once a day. And uh, the rest of the day, I might have some like eggs or maybe some some vegetable, some fruits. Or I'm gonna make some. Uh, I chop my banana and uh, I keep them in the, 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 the freezer. So whenever I need them, smoothie with uh, with uh, milk. I add a little bit of. Uh, 
um, yogurt and honey too. So I don't use sugar in there, but it's have the, the natural sweetness, the, the honey and the balance because banana is sweet too, but it's good for your body. So right now I'm gonna grind up all of this beef and I'm gonna freeze them to keep it uh, like a, for my burger. I love burger, I love it. I love putting cheese on it. I love lettuce, onion, pickle, especially pickle. You cannot have a, a burger without pickle, you know? So it's right now, it's very simple. But, so I got this machine of, I got this machine of, of a few years ago. Right? I got this machine like four years ago. This is my first time using it for a video. This is the second time that I use that as a grinder for beef, for my own beef, you know? I, I've been uh, thinking about doing this for a long time, but th today is the day, guys. Like my channel, like my videos, please subscribe. I appreciate it, you guys. Thank you very much. And happy weekend. Now we just uh, turn it on, very simple, just push it down. Look at that, freshly ground beef. By the way, I just started to uh, switch to use a lot of, uh, this is extra olive oil, but of course I'm gonna mix that with uh, some of the canola oil. So hopefully my diet is going to be uh, better for my health. I mean, I in this sport I try to get uh, try to get uh, bigger and stronger too. Try to get the most important thing I try to uh, to, to like recover quicker so I can keep training. You know, sometimes some day that uh, there is day that we do heavy stuff. There is day that we do max. There's there is day that uh, we do recover. So uh, this diet is going to help me to recover quicker, hopefully, so I can keep up with all of my training. So the ground beef, after I do that, I just keep it in the freezer. You can put it in a Ziploc bag or plastic wrap and just put it in the freezer. Uh, leave to work for in the morning, just put it in a stainless steel bowl. Keep it in the freezer, and by the time you get home, is it ready for you? So the same with the steak. You can you can leave it in the freezer, but by the time the first thing, take it out and put it in the stainless steel bowl in the morning. Leave it in the fridge, and by the time you get home, is it take it out immediately and leave it on the counter. And after after that, get ready for a good dinner. Get some vegetable, some salad dressing, season the steak really well, do it on the pan. There is, uh, there is uh, different types of cooking. I have sous vide, I have the grill, but recently I, I learned from chef uh, Sean Pierre, He's, he showed us how to do a cold, a cold pan cooking with the steak. So cold, cold pan cooking. It's keep the steak the, the, the perfect uh, crust outside of the steak, and plus you don't have to uh, to use a lot of equipment, just a pan and a tongue. Normally you don't need oil and stuff. No, the the, the meat already have fat in it, so it's, when you start it cold, the fat gonna render down, and you have a bunch of beef fat in it cooked by its own fat in there. So it it, it, it has the best flavor cooking by that way. And normally when it finished. I just throw a knob of butter in there and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And adding a lot of pepper and then I elevated that steak flavor. Right. This looks beautiful, you know. The, the quality, the color, you can I can feel you can feel the freshness of the beef when you mix it. You can smell it right away. It's extremely fat, fresh, and, and fatty too. Fresh, I mean fresh. Yeah, 
you can do meatballs, you have you have this machine. I have a deep fryer too. So if I do meatball I I'm gonna cover them with breadcrumb, fry it, and then I make the sauce and I pour it over and stew it a little bit. That's how I make I don't know how people are doing that, but that way I make I make it that way. So all the steak I got right now, it's gonna look like this. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. All right, guys. That's it for the video today. I appreciate your time and uh, your support. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Stay, stay tuned. I'm gonna have more videos coming. Thank you.